This is a much quicker demo for using FileZilla to transfer web files to a web server, as well as backing up web server files to your local computer. Once the application is open, you must first enter the host name, which is citwebdev.cscc.edu. You then enter your CSCC username. Next, you enter your password, which is your CSCC username plus the last four digits of your Cougar ID. And finally, enter 22 for the port number, then click on Quick Connect. If you entered your information correctly, the right-hand bottom window of FileZilla should be displaying folders and files now. The only folder to be concerned with is public HTML. In this demo, we have a folder under public HTML that we want to transfer a web page document to called Demo. So we double click into it to prepare for the transfer. We now need to switch focus to the left bottom window which represents the folders and files on our local computer. Here we have a web page called test.html found under the desktop folder. To transfer it, just drag it and drop to the right hand bottom window. Once the transfer has completed, you can now browse to the web page file using a browser and its valid URL, which based on our folder set up on the web server is citwebdev.cscc.edu slash tilde username slash demo slash test.html. If entered correctly, the web page will display. To back up this file from the web server, we first must identify a local folder to back the file up to. In this case, we'll use a folder named backup. Once you've double clicked into the backup folder, you need to switch back to the bottom right window and double click the file you want to back up. You'll know the transfer completed successfully if you see the file show up in the left hand bottom window. If you'd like a deeper dive into using FileZilla for FTP, make sure to check out the full learning object for it embedded in your course.